papers. Today we are going to talk about uh, generalized method of movements. Uh, GMM is in fact a generic method for estimating parameters in econometric model. The method requires that a certain number of movement, movement conditions are specified for the model. And one of the important thing is that these movement conditions are functions of the model parameters and the data. So uh, GMM is well situated to deal with the potential and endogeneity problem in a model. Uh, the estimator is just an econometric tool that include both ordinary least square and two stage least square. Uh, in simple we can say that two stage least square is a special case of uh, GMM that is there is a way to construct a GMM estimator that is uh, equivalent to the wireless estimator. So why should we, we use GMM? Uh, the motivation for GMM is basically for the case where we do not know the distribution of dependent variable. In that case, GMM is a good option. And the most important thing is a particular empirical situation requiring the use of this method. For example, I have just mentioned that the endogeneity problem, if there is some endogenous variable in the model and obviously the endogenous variable will uh, you know, produce bias estimation. So in that case GMM is one of the good options. So let us begin a, with an example. This is a model I constructed for my doctoral work. One of the models are I used four models so I am you know I am describing one model here. Uh, so the one of the objectives of my doctoral work was to study the impact of international migrants remittances on household food security. To assess that dimension I use the food security measurement tools as dependent variable and a number of co-variates these are the uh, independent variable and one, remittance is one of the co-variates that is the key interest of uh, key, key interest variable so uh, the other variables are income household different demographic factors such as age uh, gender educational status then household socioeconomic variables such as household asset, farm size, family size, dependency and one another important variable is the location. Uh, the reason I included the location variable here is to assess the food security situation of the households located in different places that is to assess the spatial profile of the household's food security status because this is very important because some households live in a adverse agroecological climatic situation where the other 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 households live in a favorable favorable climate or climatic situation so so the if we uh, I, I included a dummy variable here to assess how you know location influences the household's food security status. For example, I, I collected data from four villages in Bangladesh. So one village was in a flood prone areas in Chatpur district. So I used that dummy variable one for the village for the households who are living who are living in the flat for any uh, flat prone area than the zero for the otherwise so so uh, the estimated you know coefficient help us to assess this 
spatial uh, profile of the houses living in different areas. So that there's there's the motivation behind this. So let us let us estimate the model using uh, software. So I am using here in eviews. This is a very robust econometric software and I am a great fan for that because I am, I am using this software for more than 10 years. So we have we are creating a work file here. We have 754 variables, houses, uh, so houses data. So we, we have created a work file. So now we are importing the files uh, from the desktop. This is the raw data. So so here is the uh, here here are the variables. So household dietary diversity score is the dependent variable here. So we are estimating the equation by using the GMM. So we need to specify the equation here. So here is the list of equation variables. So this will help uh, to save some time. So our dependent variable is HDDS. These are the regressors. So we are setting the estimation GMM, and these are the instruments list. So we don't need to use this constant because it's constant is included so make sure that estimation weighting matrix is HSE so we are also removing the remittance and non-remittance in income because we are using the instrument for the endogenous variable so so here is the output file so the most of the Variables probability value is statistically significant except uh, dependency variable, and the R square is uh, quite good. So now we are checking the regressor endogeneity test because we have two variables in the model remittance and non remittance income as uh, endogenous variables. So the difference in just statistics the probability value is significant so we cannot say that the regressors are exogenous there is a endogeneity problem so the gmm is a good option here one another important thing is we also need to test whether the instruments are weak or strong so we can do it uh, pretty straightforwardly in eviews by using the weak instrument diagnosis we can see that stock and yoga critical value for five percent is 11.04 it's a quite good good indicators that the instruments are uh, relevant in our case okay that's all about the GMM estimation and thank you for watching.